Thank you for holding. My name is Tiffany. I will be helping you claim your reward today. May I have your first name, please? Oh, yeah. Hello, Tiffany. Uh, my name is Andres Zamora. Do you need me to spell that for you? Um, one second, please. Let me see if I got it, sir. First name, A-N-D-R-E-W-S, correct? A-N-D-R-E-S. Oh, okay, without the W. Almost got it, sir. Yeah. And your last name, sir, Z-A-M-O-R-A? -A? Yep, correct. Zamora? Okay, thank you. Congratulations, you will have the ability to select between $100 in shopping reward or $100 in dining restaurant certificate. Which one would you prefer? Ooh, definitely shopping. Okay, great choice. What address would you like me to mail that reward, sir? Um, 671 Lincoln Avenue. One minute, please let me verify the address. All right. <clears throat> so did you say it's six seven one, correct? Sir? Sorry, yeah, six seven one. And what's the zip code? Hmm? What's the zip code? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. Yeah, uh-huh. What's the zip code? Okay, 60043. Now you are giving me another address? What? Now you are giving me a different address, sir. It's not the same that you gave me in the beginning. That's... Huh? You, you you didn't know the address that you that you provided me in the beginning, right? Um, right. I'm not understanding you, ma'am. If you oh now you not understand. I mean, I'm not sure why you're acting like you've got me. You're a scammer who's trying to scam people. Like you're trying oh, to have a gotcha moment, that's but. Why you're giving me that's why you're giving me fake addresses? Yep, pretty much. I mean, three minutes is actually pretty good for stopping someone else from getting scammed. That's at least one person. So I'm probably going to go to sleep pretty happy tonight. Do you, do you think like that? Yep. It's not work like that. Yep, it does, actually. No, it doesn't. For me, it's good. I have time. I have the whole day. You have the whole day. Three minutes less, though. So. Actually, actually, you're helping me because I need time. Time to yeah, not do your job? Address, I mean, if you had to scam people because you had no other choice, I'd feel remorse. But you actually seem quite proud of what you've done, which is kind of disappointing. Like, think about what you're doing for a second. You're stealing money Excuse from me, people who don't know any better. Company? No, shut up, I shut up. I don't talk. Shut up. Shut up and listen to me. Think about what you're doing right now. I'm a child, and I know better than you. A child. You're... How old are you? And you're scamming people? And you're proud of yourself? Just what you're saying? I am literally a child with better morals than you. How old are you? And you think you're doing good, you're being proud, you're acting happy, you're sitting all high and mighty, sitting on your ass all day, taking other people's money. Yes, I need to be happy. I don't have a reason to be mad. If you're at least shameful about what you did, I probably would feel bad for you. But I feel no, no I'm shred not, I'm of remorse. I'm not. I'm doing my job. I, you don't have to quit your job. But, I mean, I wouldn't be happy if I got money by stealing from other people. What are you doing right now? It's wasting my time. Yep. Wasting your time is probably a better use of time than yours right now. You know, um, what else? Well, else? Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of people calling you 
because your number is on a scam website and people can track if you change it. So there's not really much you can do since you're already on it. So good luck. Uh, okay, have a horrible you. day. Okay. You too.